Welcome back guys to another episode of the Craftsman Fishing. We have been doing guys some harvesting and some gathering lately. We've been getting a lot of berries. But today guys we're going to go through to get some berries. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I've been waiting for a long time to eat my apple. I already eat uh, this morning, well this evening. And I've been happy guys with that. But actually right now is the time guys you can, have, can go to the woods in the forest and find berries. and found berries guys around. This berry right here guys called wine berry. It's so delicious. You can see it right there. I've, I've been harvesting few already. It was not ready yet. But you can harvest a lot of those and make it juice and stuff guys. Here's the time guys when you have to come in around guys and found them. Because if you're not coming now guys, you're not gonna find them. You can see them so beautiful guys right there. One, two, three, four, five. We got a five guys in one little tiny packet. And if you ask me if they need it, then no guys, they're in basic, but well, it's about the full change right now here. So let me see how many I can put in my hand and show you guys. Wine berries guy was introduced in the 1800s, or maybe le or maybe more in the past, I believe that. Because you know, when the uh, uh, people come here to settle colonies and stuff, so they bring a lot of different things guys, so. I mean, in the comments, if you think uh, they come in earlier, so once already going bad, so but I'm gonna make some juice. Actually, guys, they come wine berries because they was used in the past to make wine. Oh my god, so good berries right here. They are everywhere, guys. That's what I'm coming to get today. You can see right there. Always, guys, get a pouch like I got it here and drop inside when some paper towel. If I don't get squeezed or something, I got it right there. You can see. And you just go through the forest, guys. You found a lot of things around, so just walk through. You see, I don't pick, you know, everything. So you pick whatever is right. The rest are there for the animals, you know. You see, I can keep picking. Maybe I found some blackberries too. I know I patched the other side. It's a big patch over there. I see more over there. And we got it here in the top, guys, the beautiful grapes. They are grapes, guys, native from America. Yep, it is grapes. They're not ready yet, guys. So you can see in the top. I'm going to come back here, guys, to get them later. Yeah, guys, they are grapes, believe me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test one for you. They are native American grapes, guys. It's a bunch of them here. Yep, they are grapes. And you can eat them guys very easily but so don't confuse guys the vine that i show you the grapes they are there on the grapes or the plant or that i see here because it's, a, it's this plant guys is mixed here you can see it's this bush is over or the bush this is another plant i forgot the name this is another plant and I, for, I, for, I forgot the name of this plant but this bush is in the top of the uh the black walnut and then it's around of the uh, wild, the wild grapes. You can see, guys. It's a bush right there. I'm gonna get them, guys, later to eat them later. I already eat one, so you, my wife's gonna be mad. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but you know, being very hard to find these grapes, guys. Very hard to find these grapes. Yeah. I want you to know, guys. It's one plant that look like grapes. It's called Monsi. It's poisonous, so you have to be careful, guys, with this plant. When you going to try to look for wild grapes, wild grapes look different. Get a differences. Uh, Moonsi got to use one seed, and the uh, grapes always got it like uh, the two, uh, four seeds. So be careful out there, guys. Don't eat whatever you see. You have to investigate it very well. Yep, that grape. You can see them, guys. They're still bitter, a little bitter. No, not bitter like a sour. It's still too young. Maybe at uh, the end of this, this month, I'm going to come in to get them. You can see them right there, guys. They're grapes. They're beautiful grapes, guys, but not ready yet. So you can see, guys, in my garden, I got almost everything. So I keep going looking my berries. So every season, guys, every month, every space got something different. I'm happy with that thing right there. That's a very nice one. Fine. I've been looking for that plant everywhere. 
Now we got another place to go to farm stuff. Okay, here's the bush I was talking about, guys. To be honest with you guys, this bush is a big bless, and at the same time, it's very tormy, so. <sighs> He's trying to get whatever is ready, guys. Right now, ow! Like I say, guys, it's very tormy. It's not very friendly, this side here. It's more friendly the other one. That was a big snatch right there, but it's okay. So, like I say, guys, quantity and quality. We're gonna go slow, guys. We're gonna look our bags and try to be careful. <coughs> <coughs> what you can do guys <coughs> the bush are most done when her, when the um, seeds and stuff you want you see this one it's not good that ends not good quality and quantity guys that's what i'm saying <coughs> a coffee guy because i'm crazy so okay so you can see here guys this is no quality we're gonna let it go you're gonna ask how santos know most a lot of things a lot to read guys a lot to investigate, a lot to see things online. Yeah, coming there, whatever. I try to not appear in front of people like that because they criticize you, see you weird. Most of the people get fascinated when people see you like a you weird guy and doing weird stuff. But it's actually not this normal thing that people do. So, my people, you people, our people, been doing this for thousands of years, guys. It's a quality right here, this. And the animals try to eat it. So. Yeah, guys, there's food everywhere. People don't know this stuff because they don't show to their kids. This one is no quality. You can see this one, very smushy. We're gonna let it go down to reproduce. Take quality and no quantity, guys. That's what I married my wife. She's a quality woman, so. <clears throat> quantity, no give you nothing. Well guys, going to looking for the uh, blueberries and being, I see different kinds of marks right there, raccoons, dogs and humans walking to this trail in the year two. I see it's not being windy, I don't know how long it's going to take. Oh, more mushrooms guys, beautiful. But are we are going to be looking for the, uh, the uh, blueberries right here in this area. Let's see how it goes. I uh, showed you before. so. Maybe now they are really ripe. I know what bushes to pick, what bushes to not pick. And the uh, June berries are thin already gone, so they are ripe too fast. So let's go, let's go. Okay guys, blueberries. Start picking them again. They are really good. So we're gonna pick whatever we can, like I said guys. More here. It's gonna rain soon, so. It is a lot of blueberries here, guys. So, uh, I got a couple there in a few seconds. Just drop it here in the back. Yeah, you can see more here. Blueberries again. They are everywhere, guys. It's a lot of them everywhere, so. Eh, maybe a pound today, I don't think so, maybe a few ounces guys, they are everywhere but they're not like a big quantity or those, remember those are wild guys, so those are more small than the other ones, so so you be careful out there guys, and watch your berries, <laughs> like my wife says, so. let me see, let me drop this one here, this one actually are blueberries because the uh, color, they are more blur, so Yep, and they're darker, so. I hear the storm coming. I'm gonna do my picking the fastest I can, guys, but I wanna get to the big bush over there in the corner. That one got a lot. I've been eating these berries almost every day when coming here to fishing. I've been catching a lot of crappy lately. I got a few bags in my, in my house. I'm gonna make a video about fishing, guys, because I've been more interested in about all this stuff. I think I'm gonna get bored, you know, everybody about just fishing, 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 fishing. You know? And people still throwing stuff around, guys. <clears throat> so maybe we can use this one for uh, fishing hooks and stuff. 
Okay, that's what I do, guys. Recycle stuff. Sounds crazy to you, right? Not to me. So let's continue the uh, picking blueberries, guys. I had to check it out last time. This is the uh, June berry. Still feel here. The more bright. So let's pick some. We're gonna make a mix. So we got a June berries too. So no use blueberries. So that's good. Let's see if we can find more. Yeah, guys, this plant coming to be. Oh my God! Somebody break the branch. That's what it is. People are destructive. So yeah. Okay, guys, another one here. I'm gonna pick whatever berries are ready, guys. So that's a good, that's a good sign, guys. It's still some June berries here, so that means the water temperature and the water content in this ground right now is as appropriate for the uh, for the growing of the uh, berries, and they don't dry so fast or get picking too fast too, neither. So yeah, this is June berries, guys. So I'm picking other colors too because. Even black and, 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 the, and the red colors right here, and these berries are tastier, so. Okay, that's your berries, guys. And they put it, we got a four species. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can find more. I'm pretty sure these berries too, guys, these blueberries too, guys, but these ones are not ready yet. You can see them, still not ready yet. Let me see if I can pick more. I oh, don't see more, guys. This is the only bush that I know you berry. Give it a lot, you know, every year, so. You know, every 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 bush, you know, acting differently, you know, and and the and the environment. So that's what our ancestors do, guys. They they get the berries and then take it to the uh, to the uh, houses in the past, and they used to what the domestication. That was a long time, guys, hundreds of years to get the berries we got out now. But to be grateful for those, for those people, you know, going through you know forests and try to find the right plant, the right berry, and domesticate the plant to get berries, so you have to be, be grateful, not use wasteful. Yeah, this one is another one, but this one we got nothing at all, so yep, that one got, got picked very fast. Here's another one. I'm pretty sure nothing here. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Wow, guys, I can't believe this. Okay, guys, notice this, guys. Did you want to say it's under crazy or something? It's the first time that I noticed this, guys. This, uh, this tree grows so big, guys. And this one, guys, is actually a very old chestnut tree. I don't know how long this tree was alive, but in the uh, blight got here. And you, hear, you see here, guys, another tree, even one flowers, guys. Wow, let me get the, the flowers. Oh, the most nuts, I want to say. This, this, it's already dead because the blight, so let me check out these guys. And this is the proof that it's a chestnut tree. The leaves, guys, they're longer like this, so this tree died a long time ago, guys, and look like a most got chestnuts, guys, and stuff, so wow, unbelievable. They want to come back, there's another one there, guys, so I don't know what to say, guys, something's impressed me. One day, if I find another tree big one, bigger enough, maybe I can get the, the seeds and just spread it everywhere. I want, I want to come back. So, oh, okay. Another blueberry right here, guys. They're, they're not everywhere now, guys. The blueberry is more hard to find. More easy to find the June berry, actually. Well, I eat mostly, so <laughs> every time I'm going through pick three, two, four. So it looks like there's nothing at all here. So I hope the big bush that I got the other day over there is ready. But I don't think so. One here, one there. Like I say, it's, this soil is like a little off from the... Uh, on the uh, minerals, so yeah. If I was right, the minerals, uh, I believe it can be more berries. So it's incredible, actually. But anyways, I'm grateful for whatever it is. Whatever it is, is fine. So this one we're looking for, guys. Plants like that. They can produce more, and that's what they do in the past. You're looking for plants, you produce, can produce more. The other plants, so. You have to look everything around. And okay guys, when you go into bushes guys, you have to go slow guys. Because if you go too fast guys, you're gonna let it go. Or maybe pass through bushes full of berries. Like I said, like I hear, I found one guys. I'm kneeling guys, I'm kneeling to try to find whatever I can't. 
like I say guys, that's a humble way to say thank you too. Kneeling. Thank you to the plant to give you whatever she has to. Yeah, kneeling to God, I think. The only man you have to kneel. Well, yeah, he was a man. Not anymore, he's God. He was a man for sure. So you can see right here, guys, there's more here. There's a lot of those here, guys. It's gonna be a good smoothie, guys, today. Like I said, guys, when you come back when you wanna get a handful. It's a handful right there, guys, so. We're gonna continue, guys. This bushes over there, guys, are looking for the spots. They're concentrated with a lot of berries, so. I don't know why we got, I don't know why guys, but when it's competition between plants, you don't see no, no lot of berries, you see few. When it's a lot of plants in the same spot, you don't see no berries, for sure. I think because the competition for, for the resources make the soil being no enough nutrients for the uh, berries okay right here i'll show you i can kneel in here guys and look at the plant for a little bit because always the berries are under the things it's very hard to see them here's one and it started almost raining guys so you have to kneel in guys when it's like this guys it's not really productive so i'm gonna kneel in over there too guys so i'm kneeling here to look you have to kneel in to look guys it's the only way from growing blueberries to look around, not everything got a berries. Not everything. Well, guys, we found the species. It's called uh, Manita <coughs> Jackson Jacksoni. Supposed to be is over from Canada all the way to Mexico. And the species going to 8 inches to 12 inches wide. Can be big, bright orange, but the motion is considered edible, but can be misidentified when toxic species such as Manita muscaria and Faloides. But Jackson looks similar, and Manita casera cesar version that, that I found is it is in Europe and North Africa. So, see also, let's see what's more to say. That's it guys, this is a mushroom, but it's edible, but we're not gonna eat it because the uh, situation about my wife said don't eat it, nothing and mushrooms, but we found other species, amanitas. That's uh, another species that I never ever found, that's the first time I ever see it. So, that's uh, actually re really nice. So if somebody knows about mushrooms, let me know. Got a small cap in the bottom, going all the way up and see something is eating I see, I think insects is eating them. See something's eating there for sure. And let's get a sample. This one anyways is gonna go bad. So got a uh, the bottom got a this uh part, partial part right there. And it's possible this is a manita's edible. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to eat it guys, I'm trying to smell it, that's all. So I wanna put it right here. I'm gonna let the deer have it. Because in my house in my household I had to figure out how to uh, identify right motions to be edible. That's a really good science guys. And right here, guys, we got another mushrooms. And I don't know what species they are. They are very beautiful, actually. They look like a very weird mushroom, for real. Let me check it out what kind of mushrooms they are, guys. So, I think you want to look at some mushrooms. Let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, we found some here. Mm, this we found like a four or five, not many. Let me see, got a one, two, three, four. One bush, that's good. So, I think I'm done with the picking of the blueberries and you berries, guys. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Okay, guys, we come back to the fishing hole. Let's see how it goes. So, uh, this water, guys. What you can expect about these waters? Not much. So, whatever you can catch, actually. We're gonna go with a garland, you know, very effective. We're gonna go to a G head. We're gonna do a rocket bobber. It's a very special bobber. Indicate when you got a bite. We're gonna go, guys, around foot and a half. I don't know how the I don't know how the situation will be. I know where the branches are, guys. So I have to be, be careful. If I got tangled, I have to be careful because 
I don't gotta wait to get the barber back. I got the barber back, but I got the Hapogado building of the pole to retreat, so. Okay, so right there, guys. On the trail, right there, guys. I'm gonna go slow. Slow retreat, guys. These fish are very picky, believe me. And the water is really, really, really dark this, this uh, evening. Better, guys, in the evenings or the early mornings to try to catch the crab. So let's see, guys. I'm gonna do a fishing video right now. We can catch a crappie every day, but I don't know today. It's very muddy, so that can change the situation. So, I mean, expectation the weather for the weather is clear, it's better. Yeah, I have to go down a little bit more. I'm gonna be adjusting until I got the uh, bite, guys. So, believe me, guys, I'm gonna be here. Promise. So, I'll come back. All right, guys, first crappie of the day. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Uh, jumping around too much. Oh, it's almost wrong. All right, guys, you get off on the hook. Okay, I got a first fish of the day, guys. I cannot record it. Oh my god, I'm being casting and casting and casting. The water's too dirty. So I'm gonna keep going doing it. I'm gonna go put in my, in my K main string that I do. So, hey, I will just say too little, blah, 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 whatever. So, Maryland, no got a sizes. Uh, 15 is the limit. So, what it is I think so I'm going to do what I need to do and whatever fish I catch guys from my aunt so hey I'm gonna leave it right here guys and I say yeah it's gonna die more faster so at least you know I don't I don't I don't play with this fish today so I'm gonna leave it right there guys so I'll come back that's my caiman thing I'm gonna leave it here so let's go let's go come back for more oh, guys another crappie it's coming Let's try to hold it right. Yep. Yeah, guys, another crappy to the stream. So, yeah, catching and catching it, guys. So, I'm gonna put it in the stream. I know it's a little crazy, but already I got a turtle eating my fish, so I don't want to go through the decent thing. I know it's gonna be here some, uh, what's the name, some, uh, you know, some was trying to eat my fish, but it's okay. They usually get in minerals. They don't eat the whole fish, so okay. So I got it two fish already, guys, and my hey man, you know, thing. So I got it two already around six, seven inches. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. So I'm gonna go get more. Yeah, guys, now start picking up the uh, bite. Maybe I can catch uh, maybe six, seven, and then go home. I use lots of fish, guys, right there. I'm gonna try again this in spot, guys. Now I'm gonna try. And I want to do the same technique. I know where, where to go now, so so I know where to go now, guys. So I know where the fish is now, guys. So that's good. Start getting the bites. I'm gonna go slowly right there. I know where the fish is now, guys. So. Nothing there. Ooh, that was a bite. For sure, it was a bite. When I come back over there, the thing is, guys, when you start pulling slowly, and the fish get interesting. You gotta maybe one or two bites, and that's it. You have to retreat the same spot. So, that's all you have, guys. Two bites, one or two bites. That's it, and the fish let go. So, I already lost one, so. Okay guys, I got one, another one, like I told you. So, I'm over there now. I found them, so. Beautiful crappie, come here crappie. Uh, yes, a very nice size crappie. Well, I got it for Marco, so. That's the only thing matter for me right now. I got it for my cousin, so. Oh my God, time to go away. Well, the fish go away guys, that's just what it is. You can do nothing about it. Okay guys, another one, another one, another one. This one guys, I'm going to retreat it in this side here. Because if I don't do it, I'm going to lost it. I see it's barely hooked guys. So, when you got a crappie guys, better way to go guys, it's coming to the shore. It's very big actually. Bigger than I was expecting. I actually swallowed the thing. That's perfect. 
As you see, swallow the thing all the way through. And my fish fall down there because I think they were jumping. And I got it, guys. I got it. Three crappies already. Ah. Actually, guys, the one of those days, guys, I was getting uh, something in my fingers. I said, what, what, what is that, you know? And actually, I figured I was uh, one of those scales of this fish. So, okay. Okay, guys, we got it ready. How many? We got a three, okay? So, well, put something in my pants anyway. So, I'm fresh your pants. My wife is going to be upset when you smell fish everywhere again. Not because you don't like it, because it's smelly. <laughs> okay, guys, so. I figured out what the fish want, guys. So, hey, the thing is, this is the last one. I hope it's not gonna get loose. Let's see. I think my technique's working. We're gonna be fishing until it gets very dark, guys. Because tomorrow I have to get a, a very good fishing day with my wife. We're gonna go to Hayes Point. Let's see how it goes tomorrow. And I got technique for this, guys. So that's good. I hope it's not the coyote not coming to get my fish like the last time that he tried to. And Make him bacon, make him bacon, make him bacon, make him bacon, get him ready.